before we start today, I want to make sure you understand what a 10 is. Some people think that when I say a 10, I mean the number 10, but when I say a 10, I don't just mean the number 10. I mean any number you say when you count by tens. Think about counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All these numbers are tens because you get them when counting by tens. 20 is a 10, 30 is a 10, 40 is a 10, and so on. Saying a 10 means any number when counting by tens, not only the number 10. Let's make sure you understand. When you see a number come on the screen, give a thumbs up if it's a 10 and a thumbs down if it's not. Keep watching to see if you're correct. Are you ready? Okay, hopefully by now you understand what a 10 is. You'll need to know this for the lesson today. Let's get started. Today, we're going to learn about crossing to the next 10. What does that mean? When we cross to the next 10 while adding, it means we go from one group of 10s to the next group of 10s. Imagine you're counting and you reach the number 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. If you add a number that makes you go past the next tens number, you're crossing to the next 10. Think of crossing to the next 10 like crossing a railroad track. Imagine you're walking along and you come to train tracks. To keep going, you have to step over them carefully. When adding, getting to the next 10 is the same, you're crossing over into a new group of numbers. Just like stepping over the tracks, you move into the next set of tens. Here's an example of crossing to the next 10. Let's say you have 28 and you add 5. Start at 28. Add 2 to get to 30. That's crossing to the next 10. But you still have more to add. You were supposed to add 5 and you only added 2, so you need to add 3 more. 30 plus 3 equals 33. So 28 plus 5 equals 33. We crossed to the next 10 because we went from numbers in the 20s to numbers in the 30s when we crossed over 30. Let's try a few more. Here's the problem 46 plus 5. We'll find 46 on the number line. Now, I'll add 4, which will bring me to 50. So, I'm crossing a 10. I was supposed to add 5. I added 4 to get to 50. Now, I need to add one more. And now I'm at 51. 46 plus 5 equals 51. And we crossed a 10 to get our answer. Let's do 37 plus 6. We'll start at 37. Can you figure out how many jumps I need to cross to the next 10? The next 10 is 40, and we need 3 jumps to get there. We were supposed to add 6. So far, we've added 3. How many more do we need to add? We need to add 3 more. And now we're at 43. We crossed a 10 and solved 37 plus 6 to get 43. Before we go on, I have a question. Do you always cross a 10 when adding? Why or why not? Think about it.
The answer is no. You don't always cross a 10 when adding, because sometimes you don't reach the next group of 10. Let me show you. Let's say you're adding 23 plus 2. You'll start at 23. The next 10 is 30. When you add 2 to 23, what do you get? Twenty-three plus two equals twenty-five. You didn't cross thirty, so you didn't cross the next ten. You're still in the twenties, so you don't always cross a ten when adding. Okay, let's do one more together before you work on some on your own. Here's fifty-five plus eight. First, let's start at fifty-five. Think about whether you will be crossing a ten. If you are, how many jumps will you take to get to the next ten? You will be crossing a 10, so you need 5 jumps to get to the next 10. Now, you were supposed to add 8. So far, you've added 5. How many more jumps do you need to make? You need 3 more jumps. Now you're at 63, so 55 plus 8 equals 63, and we crossed a 10 to solve. Did you notice that when I cross a 10, I make a number bond with my second addend? First, I write the number of jumps it took me to get to the 10. Then, I write the number of jumps I have left. Making a number bond with the second addend helps because it breaks the number into smaller parts to make adding easier. Okay, now it's your turn to practice. Grab a piece of paper and pencil or a wipe off board and marker. You can pause the video while you get what you need and press play when you're ready. Press pause now if you need to. Here's the problem, 76 plus 7. You need to decide if you will be crossing a 10 to solve. If you are, break up the 7 into two parts. The first part is how many jumps you need to get to the next 10. The second part is how many more jumps you need to make a total of 7 jumps. Then write your sum based on the number you landed on. You can use the number line on the screen for help if you need it. Press pause while you solve, then press play. Press pause now. You did have to cross a 10 to solve this problem. You should have started at 76 and made 4 jumps to get to the next 10, which is 80. Then you should have put that 4 in the number bond. You needed to add 7, but so far, you've only added 4. So you had to add 3 more by making 3 more jumps, and you should have put the 3 in your number bond to show how you broke up 7 into 3 and 4. You should have landed on 83, so the sum is 83. How did you do? Let's try one more. Follow the same steps as the last problem to solve 45 plus 8. Press pause while you work, then press play. Press pause now. To solve 45 plus 8, you needed to make 5 jumps to get to the next 10, which is 50. Then you needed to make 3 more jumps for a total of 8 jumps. Your number bond should show how you broke up 8 into 5 and 3. Your total should be 53. Did you get that? Don't worry if you didn't. You can keep practicing and you will get it. Nice work today. Bye for now. Make sure to subscribe for more engaging math videos.